Hi, this is Joe at Cable Guys. Today I'm going to show you my easy sidechain strategy for punchier transients. Whether you like them snappy or soft, your kick and snare need to cut through and hit correctly. So instead of trying to fix this in the mix later, I'm going to show you the fastest way to get the punchiest, cleanest transients possible right from the start of writing a track. So here, my kick and snare are grouped together. Then I group everything else into this sidechain group. I'll load Kickstart 2 on this everything group and route the combined kick and snare signal into the plugin's sidechain input. Switch to audio trigger mode and the kick and snare now duck everything else in the track. Switch to this extreme short curve, then drag the curve left to duck everything only under the kick and snare transients. For more resolution, you can change the length to 1 8. Now you can't hear any pumping because the ducking is happening over such a short period of time. But notice how the kick and snare transients have much more power and clarity. As you build up your beat, this basic routing might become less suitable, depending on the direction your track takes. Maybe you want more relaxed ducking for the kick, but tighter ducking on the snare. In this case, you can use two kick starts, one triggered by the kick and the other triggered by the snare. From here, you can break out individual elements to different groups, each with their own sidechain settings. Here's a track with a rounder, duller kick. Because the hats and percussion are the furthest away from the kick, in terms of frequency, the pumping is too audible. The solution is to break out the hats and rides to their own group and apply less or no ducking to that group. From here, adapt things to your own taste. So that's my quick sidechain technique for punchier transients. I hope it helps you simplify your sidechaining. To get Kickstart 2, head to kickstart-plugin.com. I'll see you in the next video.